Hi, Jackie and Anna. How are you? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. And Maritza. Good evening. Yeah, Jackie, Anna, Anna Mariela, Anna Beatriz, and Maritza. Yeah, that's right. Can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, perfect. If you hear there's there are people singing like gospel music, it's because near my house there's a, there they have this meeting every Monday. So just in case you hear that. Okay, so how was your weekend? It was really nice, teacher. What do you do? I take a I took a trip with my family this weekend. We went to San Miguel and no different towns, for example, Alegría in Berlin in Nueva Granada. Those, those towns, I didn't know them. Wow, that was interesting. Yes, but, the, but it was raining, but, but uh, uh, a, a pesar de ello, it was really nice. Despite that, or despite, in spite, yeah, despite that, or in spite of that? In spite of that, it was really nice. Okay, I'm glad to know that. Uh, Carla, how about you? How was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, and it was nice. I took a rest because I was I was working a lot around 12 hours per day. Wow. And this weekend I prefer stay at my home and watch some movies and rest. That's the best thing that you can do, especially when you have been working a lot. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad to know that you're rested and that you're ready for today. Uh, Juan Jose, good evening, mister. Good evening, good evening. How was your weekend? Um, uh, I rest a little bit Saturday in the afternoon. And uh -huh. um, Sunday, I stay with my daughter in their house. In the um, afternoon Sunday, I try to Try to to uh, to um, to work in some activities in my house. Okay, okay. So you are busy. Uh, thanks but, for sharing, Juan Jose. Yeah, that's good. Karen. Hello. Hello. Do you have a good weekend? Yes, yes, I, I went with my kids to a first commun communion. I don't know if you uh -huh. say it like that. I'm not sure, but probably, yeah, uh, that's the first, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a religious Saturday, activity, right? Uh -huh. Yes, um, on Saturday and yesterday, um, I went to make a supermarket um, market, um, many, I don't know how to say, mandados. Everett's. Everett's? Everett's. Everett's. So I went to Everett's. make some Everett's. I'll write it down in the chat. Good. Okay, glad to know that. Uh, thank you for sharing, Karen. We continue with uh, Rolando. 
Hey, good to see you again. Okay. Hello, thank you. Well, so, tell us. My, I ha, um, on Saturday, I have to work in the morning uh, from 8 to, to 12. Okay. In the afternoon, uh, I make the dinner with my, my son because my, my wife uh, uh, went to house at the, at, at the afternoon. Okay, okay. Now, uh, in the afternoon, I take a rest all the afternoon, watch TV right. and play video games. In the, in, at, at night, um, I, we, go, we go out with my family. You went out with your family. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. On Sunday, I stay at home, make stay some, home. some activity in my house. Okay. That's all. Perfect. A simple, a simple weekend. Simple but nice weekend. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, Brenda. Your turn. Oh, well, good afternoon, and which is the question? Good evening, about your weekend, how was it? Oh, okay, well, my um, weekend was very busy because I just had one and a half day of free day. I have to work till Saturday, 1 p.m. So what I did was just go to church, teach children, um, prepare everything for next day, and uh, do some home chores. That was the thing that I was doing the whole weekend. Not too much because it was raining. <laughs> yeah, I know the rain can uh, change all our plans. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Thank you for sharing, Brenda. Nice to see you. Uh, Harvin, how's it going? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, my week, my weekend was relaxing. I spent a lot of time in home with my family, and I was watching a uh, soccer match, and just that I I was so relaxed. Okay, excellent. Relaxing, it's the best thing on the weekend, right? Because uh, yes, we get energy for the next week. Okay, thank you for sharing, Blanca. Hi. Hello. Um, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Well, Saturday, I work till 12 o'clock. Then I have a sales training since 1 o'clock till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Then I fall asleep. <laughs> and Sunday, I went to Galeria. And then... In the afternoon, I rest in home. That's only my weekend. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Leka. Francisco. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening. Sorry for the delay. It's fine. Tell us. Uh, how, tell us about your weekend. Was it good? Um, or what do you no, do? No bad, no good. Okay, it was so so. Got it. Yes. However, the Saturday is a little hard. Uh, okay. Be because I was around to two hours to to came to how do you say? Sé que se dice ethics, salir, ¿verdad? Pero salir de un congestionamiento. Well, in that case, uh, I got out of a uh, traffic jam. Get out? Got, in the past, right? Got out of a uh, traffic jam. Get up. Got out. Uh, got out. Got out of a traffic jam. Got out of traffic jam because some... People have the the convention in the Salvador del Mundo. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I think I saw some posts about that. Yes, oh, I the don't bright, this bright debate. month and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. Um, for me, I don't know. Uh, I know to accord or agree on with this case of manifest. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Debería ser de otro tipo de manifestación, pero it no should be a, las calles. Yeah, it should be another kind of, uh, <laughs> let's say, it's yeah. not a, I'm not sure if it is a protest. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I get your point. It should be yeah. a different way. It should be done in a different way. Okay, thank you so yeah. much, okay. Francisco. Okay. Okay. Uh, we continue with Jennifer. Stella. Okay, uh, Jennifer, next one is Maritza. How was your weekend, Maritza? I was in my house, teacher. All the weekend? All the weekend, I am sick. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, did, you, did you watch TV or? read some books. Yes, I watch TV. Okay. Got it. So, Hi. but today you feel a little better. What? Today you feel a little better. So-so, teacher. So-so. Oh, okay. I, I am... I have headaches. Okay. Yeah. Have a headache. Okay. Yeah. Maybe if you if you drink a little bit of tea like me, <laughs> that, that can help you to relax uh, or to to release your your pain right from the head. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Thank you for sharing, Maritza. Uh, we continue okay. with floor. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Uh, I just want to say that I just finished my work and now I'm going to drive. So okay. I, I can be a, as a listener until I get my yeah. home. And I, I don't know if I can tell you when I get my home. Sure, please let me know and drive carefully, right? I know that driving in San Salvador Sorry. is another story. Uh, y, y los chorros. Do you know the chorros? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I know. So the chorro. <laughs> special place, yeah. But okay. I'm here, okay? <laughs> Thank okay, you. be careful. Okay. Uh, Freddy's my namesake. Hi. Oh. What was the question? Um, um, my yeah, about your weekend. How was it? Was All it right. good? So, so. Yeah, it was good. On Saturday, I had to work. On Sunday, I stay at home. Actually, watch TV, play some video games. And on the night, we went to eat some bread with chicken. It was all right. Okay, nice. Uh, thank you for sharing. And the next person after you is Jessica. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jessica. Yeah. Can you hear me, teacher? Yeah, I can hear you well. Okay. Okay. I had a uh, good weekend because on uh Saturday I went to the beach with my son and with my worker uh, my job and workers, but uh -huh. on Sunday I stay at home and I wearing I I I wait wait uh, from Claro <laughs> because they're installing a uh, uh, satellite uh, TV. Uh, satellite, satellite uh, TV. Satellite, yeah, thank you. 
and satellite TV and just just that because just that. Uh, okay. and yesterday just uh, I stay at home. Okay, got it. Uh, the next person, thank you, Jessica, is Glenda. Glenda, can you hear me? Um, not so sure. Uh, well, Merlin is trying. Hello. I have problem with connection. The connection again. Ah, oh, that's Hello, so bad. can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. But I was in my weekend arrest in my house and I finished uh, one course on that on Saturday. Very good. <laughs> okay, got it. Thank you for sharing, Glenda. Welcome. Uh, Ana Mariela. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Well, I have a relaxed weekend. I stay in home. I rest a lot. I read a book. Um, I have visit. I have visit of my family, on, my uncle. And I think I, uh, it was a great weekend. Okay, got it. Uh, let me check. Thank you for sharing, Anna. Jackie, I think you didn't share about your weekend, right? You only said hello. Yes, teacher. Well, okay. sure. um, my weekend was very funny. Um, and a little hard. Uh, on Saturday, I went to the supermarket and to buy something to celebrate Father's Day on Sunday. Sunday was very funny because we have a meeting, a familiar meeting in my house, and we, we have a good time. Okay, because, perfect. Okay, yes. thank you. Because we share a lot of uh, histories from our family. It was so interesting. Yeah, family so meetings can, can, be, can be funny. Yes, of course. <laughs> thank you, yeah. teacher. Uh, thank you for sharing, okay? And well, I, I was taking the attendance, okay, while you were speaking. So uh, that's what I, I was listening to you, right? And looking at you in the camera. Um, so I guess that we have the majority of you today. We're missing uh, Julio and also Miguel is not here uh, at the moment. And Diana. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, we're going to. Okay, uh, that's all right, Merlin. Thank you for sending me the message. We're going to get started. Okay, uh, I had a good weekend too. So, but it's a new week, so I'm excited to be here. Welcome to the second week. Uh, as you can see, right? Time flies when you're having fun, when you're learning, and when you're busy. Usually it's like that. Um, but if you're tired or let's say you're stressed or bored, it never ends. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to get started with today's session. As you remember, in the last class, we had the opportunity, well, you got in groups in order to discuss five strategies that you could give me because I am the owner of the new owner of, uh, let's say, a Bam Bam, right? That was the example that we used. And I wanted to introduce seasonal uh, milkshakes. So uh, you were discussing about what advice, what recommendations can we give to the teacher? And today we are going to listen to those strategies, those uh, suggestions, right? Those recommendations. 
uh, I took screenshots, so I remember who was in each group, okay? In the room number one, we had Carla, Diana, and Maritza. So, uh, I don't know if Carla, you can share with us uh, three strategies or two strategies that you would recommend me uh, to introduce the seasonal uh, milkshakes. Because at the moment, the idea is not working. I mean, people are not buying the seasonal uh, milkshakes. I don't know why. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do right now. Carla, go ahead. Yes, uh, we were talking about the milkshake uh, business with Diana and Maritza. Uh, we have a lot of topics to consider. One of those is uh, a different kind of milk because uh, actually a lot of people didn't, didn't drink uh, cow milk. Some people prefer coconut milk, soy milk, um, almond milk. And we have to consider that that um, I have I don't know how to say it's the style of the the, the, kind of, the style uh -huh, or this the kind of food or the kind of milk the, the kind of, of of food because I, I some people are vegetarian now and they drink they didn't drink cow milk and okay. another so I might want to consider changing the type of milk yes you might to okay. consider change the kind consider, of consider uh, you might want to, you might want to consider uh -huh. very good so that is a structure right that is a structure excellent carla uh do you have another one you might to consider it um you might want of... remember that we normally use with might with want or with like right or you can use could, right? You could consider, or you could try, or you could experiment. Uh -huh. uh, you, you could consider offer a um, different kind of size of milkshake, for example, small, medium, medium large. And extra large, maybe. Extra large. Okay, so I, might, I, I could consider, uh, Offering, offering uh, different sizes. Okay, perfect, I like that. So when we use could, right, and you say you could consider or you could, uh, in this case, consider, we normally say you could consider uh, offering something else. So you can use the verb with ing, right, in some cases. Now, uh, thank you so much. You can use the reactions for the participants. Don't forget about that, right? So we are not in that classroom, everybody clapping and with a lot of noise, right? Excitement, but we can use reactions. That's a virtual uh, recognizement, right? Of the participation. Group number two, we had Anna Elizabeth, Brenda, and Fredix. Who wants to volunteer from that group? Okay. We're talking about what? Let me see. You could give a free sample. Okay, that's one. You could give a better price. Okay, so because of time, we're going to take those two, Freddy. So a yeah. better price and a free sample. Okay, so maybe like. Hey, hello, welcome to Bam Bam. So we have a new seasonal, uh, let's say, uh, milkshake. Would you like to try it out for free? So people could try it out and yeah, that can, that can be a, a, a good hookup, right? A good hookup. Okay, thank you so much for a- Brazil, Bitcoin as a payment. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, that's that's a that's a, a, a decision that I have to consider more carefully. Okay, thank you so much, Freddie. We continue with the row number three. We had Ana Mariela, Francisco, and Karen. That was the group number three. So one volunteer. Um. 
Can I to try it? Let me check. Yeah, Francisco, go ahead. Okay, I tried. Um, I remember that uh, my coworker and I talked about that it's a good idea, for example, offer the sample, sampling. It's a good idea sample. to offer samples, okay. Mm -hmm. For the customer to taste, um, um, I have the uh, approve or no approve the product that we need to offer. Ah, okay. So with the sample, you can get an approval, right, from the yes. customer. Okay, got yes. it. Um, and the second one? The second one, I don't remember. You tell me me, but I know. Uh, Don't worry. A publicitaria. A billboard. <laughs> a billboard, yes. Billboard, yeah. Yes. I will write it down in the chat yes. so you remember uh, that one. Yes, maybe maybe uh, select a place to a specific for to the more people can to see. The yeah, billboard. maybe maybe if I go to Surf City, right, and I place one billboard there in the middle of the of the bridge, maybe that would be a good a good place. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. It's a. Uh, like in right? In Ashoras, as you were mentioning that. Okay, yeah. got it. Thank you so much. Or, or, or in the yeah. middle of the Hawa, right? The, that would be another idea. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you so okay. much, Francisco. Okay. Reactions. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for the, the advice. Ah, uh, that's okay. Don't worry. We're learning. Remember. Room number four, we had Ana Beatriz, Jacqueline, and Ruth. Mm, teacher, I want to participate. Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, if you want to attract the public attention, I think it's a good idea. Uh, you, you might like an Albert, I, you might like to use an, an advertising board to show the people that you are introducing a new item in your menu in your menu for example uh, you could offer some sample when the visit when the customers visit your restaurant the people need to try them and decide if the product is good or is not good for example and uh, maybe you you might like to offer a discount when the people buy uh buy the meal share, offer the another one uh, with a half price for example that's it that's it okay perfect thank you so much uh i was thinking about what you what what francisco was telling me okay thank you so much uh, uh let me look for the reaction when is it ta-da so that's a really good idea i was thinking about what francisco was saying about the pronunciation right uh so i was going i'm going to share with you one link through the chat that you can uh use you can try it out i would recommend you to try it out for pronunciation it's really good. Uh, so I recommend you to try that website. It's excellent for pronunciation, for vocabulary, for watching different videos uh, from YouTube, right? So it's really, really good. Now, uh, we're going to move on to the group number five. So in the room number five, ah, Jessica was also part of your group, right? Okay, room number five, we have Blanca, Jennifer, and Suleyma. So I suppose that Blanca will be a volunteer. I, uh, oh. one of the, one of the recommendation that we think about was uh, to change the milk because uh, no, all the people, no, I don't have, 
I don't know how to say, but some people uh, have problems with with the milk because they have they are intolerant, uh -huh. something like that. I don't know. <laughs> and we think about the I don't know this lactosada milk skim milk skimmed ah. milk oh, okay skim yeah milk milk skim milk we think about it and i don't remember what is the other thing because i write all in my computer and my computer is dead no but that's Saturday. okay i uh wait, two is two is <laughs> fine yeah yeah i don't remember another so you have a problem with the computer too. Oh, okay. Yeah, my computer is dead. The, yesterday just don't turn on. I don't know. It didn't go on. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you watch too many BTS videos. That's the reason. Bro. No, I don't know what what happened. I'm sad. <laughs> you know, you never know, right? It's too much Korean and the computer was like, I, I don't understand this language, right? So actually the computer have only six months that I buy it. Oh, so you have to happened. take it to the store. And yeah. about what you were, what you were trying to say is that some people are lactose intolerant. Okay. Yeah. Lactose yeah. intolerant. Lacto so I, lacto lactose, lactose intolerant. I show, I share that in the chat so you can copy that. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Uh, group number six floor carvin juan jose and miguel one volunteer from that group okay teacher we was talking Arvin. about uh, okay. the topic and if you want to make more popular your restaurant we have some options for example you can give a good offer for the new customer when they say this restaurant was recommended by another customer. Or was recommended, customer. Uh -huh. And another recommendation is you could consider include the new product with most popular dishes in your restaurant. Make a combo. Ah, okay, a combo, got it. So a semita with a milkshake for $2, like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Thank you. I, I'm going to make a combo, right? So, and promote it. Okay, excellent. So, uh, thank you so much. Okay, the reactions for everybody. Those were really good strategies that I, if I, if I was, if I were the real owner, I would definitely try it out. Okay. So you see, you, we are becoming experts, not only in cooking, but also in marketing, right? So let's move on, okay? So uh, people who have ideas, you can learn a lot in the, from your classmates, so you can see. Okay, so we're going to, uh, we're going to move on and the next one is, right here. So, can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. yes, yes. Don't get scared, that's me. And these are these are you. <laughs> okay, so that was a good vibe picture that we took last Friday, okay? Um, so, that was me for, for the picture that I have to upload to the video. Um, I'm sorry for the people that have to see that. Right, but uh, we're going to move on, okay? So if you don't want to see that picture again, you have to be in the class, right? So you don't have to watch the repetition. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on. And uh, something that I, uh, that we were doing in the last class, right, was checking the strategies, right? We have different vocabulary. So I'm just going to check if you remember some of, well, all of these words. So do you remember what is the meaning of publicity stunts? What is that? Is that personalized incentives? Is that a promotion of product by giving samples? I think that is the professional maintenance of a favorable public image. Image. Mm. 
Philly. Try again. Um, offering several products for sale. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That is. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> A planning event designed to attract the public attention. Yeah, to, yeah. Right. To attract the public's attention. That's correct. What about bundling? What is bundling? Ready? You raise your hand. Ready? Is offering several products for sale as one combined product. Okay, as one combined product, that's correct. Uh, Blanca Stephanie, what is the meaning of public relations? The professional man maintaining. I don't know. When you don't know about the pronunciation or, or you have doubts, just ask, hey teacher, how do you pronounce maintenance, right? Or maintenance. And I tell you, okay. Maintenance. The, the correct pronunciation for this word is maintenance. 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 Yeah, when people speak, I, they say maintenance. I wrote, right? uh -huh. I wrote how to pronounce that to word pronounce? In, in my computer. Oh. <laughs> I want to cry. So now you know that you have to write it down, right? Just in case. <laughs> Yeah, My, just in case. Maintenance, okay? Maintenance. That's maintenance. correct. That's public relations. Excellent. Thank you so much. I'm going to ask. Let me see. I want to listen to everybody. So I'm going to ask. Uh, uh, let me see. Okay, Brenda, what is the meaning of loyalty offerings? I think it's personalized incentives. Personalized incentives, that's correct. And sampling, obviously, is the promotion. The promotion of a product uh -huh. by distributing yeah, samples, samples of, it. of it. Samples of it, okay, samples of it, you see? That's linking sounds, right? Connecting the sounds, excellent. Samples of it, that's right. So um, distribute, right? So distribute is a word. Uh -huh. Distribute, yeah. That I, distribute. I'm going to say that if you can say it yeah, Say it again, again. okay, so, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's distribute, it is similar to the verb contribute, okay? A lot of people say contribute or contribute, but it's contribute. Right, so the stress is in the second syllable. Uh, now we're going to move on to the next part. You had the the discussion, right? But something that is important that you have to complete. Uh, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to share that. But something that I I would suggest, right, that you do it with your manual if you have the copy, is that you make a self assessment, right, to evaluate yourself. Now I can provide suggestions about the promotional activities of a product or service. Do you, can you do that independently? Like, yes, now I can give suggestions or with some help from classmates or teachers, or you can do it only with help. So you do that self-evaluation, right, or self-assessment. And now we are done with the unit number one. So congratulations, we continue with unit number two. So this is procedures. Okay, procedures. Okay, the pronunciation of the word is with a sound in the middle of the letter D is sh procedures. Okay, uh, not literally the letter, the sound D, right? Not procedure, no, it's procedures. Now, what are you going to be able to do? You will be able to name a variety of different procedures going on in different areas of a restaurant. You know that a restaurant is not just cook and serve the food. I mean, there are many procedures, many people working in different areas with different responsibilities. Quickly, um, what positions can you mention, okay, that you can see in a restaurant? Cashier. Cashier. Chef. Waitress. Okay, the cashier is doing what? She will receive the money for the buildings. Okay, so it's collecting or uh, charging the money from the bills, right? From the tickets. 
Okay, uh, mm -hmm. the tips maybe. Uh, managers? You, you said chef, huh? What? The manager. Manager, the chef, uh huh. What else? Waitress. Waitress for women and for men. The guard. So we have waitress and waitress is the is a woman and the man. Waiter. Waiter. Okay. Waiter and waitress. Okay. Good. I'm gonna tell you a joke that is not so funny now that I remember waiter. Um, you know that their name is waiter because they have to wait, right, for you to order. But they say that when you go to a restaurant and nobody gets to your table, you become the waiter because you're waiting and nobody ask you, do you need anything or can I help you with something? Would you like to order something? So I was like, okay, that's a good joke. So we end up being waiters when we go to restaurants and they don't serve, they don't attend, they don't assist us, right? So um, from time to time, I will tell you some jokes that are not funny, but are related to the topic. Uh, we're going to move on, okay? So if you want to laugh, use a reaction just to have some, I mean, some, Empathy with the teacher, you can do this like that. Like, poor teacher. He's not good at telling jokes. He should continue or focus only on teaching, right? Um, You're a great teacher. Okay, thank you, Renda. Uh, so I will continue teaching, but I will try to improve my, my, my joking skills. Now, we're going to move on with the next one. So we have the waiter, the waitress, the cashier, the chef, the manager. We have more, more areas. Can you think of another one? Cleaning service. The cleaning, right? The cleaning people. It can be a janitor, it can be, I mean, uh, the, the same people who work there, right? The, the same uh, employees. Uh, Francisco, you raise your hand, I think. Uh, yes. How do you say ayudante de cocina? Creo que es una persona. That's correct. So that's the chef assistant. Hem or hem yeah, it can be an assistant. Okay. Uh, the chef assistant, uh, that would be another position. Yeah, because only a chef cannot do anything, right? Uh, everything. And also, uh, we have the dishwashers. Okay, some people who are in charge of just washing the dishes, you know that is important. Uh, and someone else that in some restaurants they have is uh, receptionist. Just to think, right, about how many people can work in just one restaurant. Uh, What's the guard? There's a security guard, that's correct. A security guard in some restaurants, they have a supervisor, right? That is checking everything. There is one manager for the chef, one manager for the waiter. So it depends, right? It, it, it varies from restaurant to restaurant. Now we're going to move on, okay? Um, you're going to discuss these questions. Question number one, are procedures in a restaurant important? Yes, no. Uh, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes, no. Give your reasons, okay, or give your examples. So that's what you're going to do right now. I'm going to send you to the breakout room so you can take a screenshot of the questions. These are really good questions, okay, that you can answer based on your experience. Because just to give an idea, right, a, a restaurant can have delicious food, can have a beautiful place, a very comfortable uh, environment, right, or ambience, a good prices. But if the service or the customer, the customer's experience is not good, they can lose customers, right? They, they can get a bad reputation. They can get bad reviews. So that's what, you, what you're going to discuss right now, okay? How important it is, uh, well, how important the procedures are in a restaurant, okay? So, and you explain your reasons. I just gave you an example, right? That comes to my mind uh, because of personal experiences. So, uh, ready? You will go to the breakout rooms and you will discuss with around three people, okay? Two more, two more people. Uh, so, let me check mathematics, seven times three, 21. Okay, perfect. So, Brenda, Flor, Jackie, 
Juan José, Berlin, Jessica, Ana, Beatriz, Ana María, Lain, Francisco, Ana Elizabeth, Ruth, and Suleyma, Carla, Harvin, Rolando, Blanca, Karen, and Maritza, Freddy's with Jennifer. Okay, so let me just make a little modification here. So, have, okay, right here I can do a little modification. Ready, set, and for this activity, you will have just four minutes, okay, to discuss and share your experiences. Everything in English, if you have a doubt, you know that you can ask. One, two, three, accept the invitation, please. Suleyma, we are missing Anna, Elizabeth, and Ruth. So you're now on. And the question? I'm going to try with Francisco. Francisco. Yes, I'll share the screenshot. Yeah. We had the question. On the uh, right on the top, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? I think yes, Cheers. because yeah. because Why? the customers uh, give you to best opinion that all all fun ¿Cómo se dice funcionamiento? All function. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, to the restaurant. Restaurant. That's what yes. I what I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next That's question. Mm -hmm. Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? I think that, of course, uh, mm -hmm. but experience in a restaurant um, affect. Uh, well, they lost some clients, some mm -hmm. customers, if they don't follow the correct procedures. 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 Yeah. They will get something free. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they can prove the product and no risk to buy something that they don't like. Yeah. But imagine if you. If the sample you're giving is really expensive, if the customer don't like it, that's a bad idea. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a risk. <laughs> well, yeah, you, 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 you finished the two, the two questions? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, so we have around 30 seconds more. For uh, I make a good, a, a good product, I think that is important. Uh, because if you if you follow a, a procedure step by step, you always have the same product for the client. Yeah, and you uh, and I I I think that is that uh, recipe, 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 
recipe. Yeah, yeah. You you have to follow the recipe for obtain the same the same product, the same food, the same. I don't know, drink, etc. And I think that it's really important follow. Okay, everybody's coming back. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to ask the question number one. Are procedures important in a restaurant? Uh, if your answer is yes, please give me a thumbs up. If your answer is yes, procedures are important in a restaurant. Okay, so I suppose everybody agrees, right? That, yeah, the procedures or the processes are really important. Okay, now we have the second the second question. Uh, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by the procedures? In the groups that I was listening to, they said yes, but I would like to hear why. Why you think that the procedures are important uh, in the customer's experience? What are some examples that you that you can mention, or what are some of the reasons why you say that they are really important? Anybody who would like to say something? Uh, yeah, I want to say something. Okay, go ahead. Okay, it's very important. The first the first question, right? The second. One. Second question. Yeah, it is important because when you want to have like a when you want to get a lot of clients for your um, business you have. So you have to give a really nice service and really nice service means that you have to have procedures to attend your clients. Don't waste time and give what they want on the time that they are waiting for. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Class for Brenda, please. That's a good, a really good um, answer, right? To give us some input. Now, I am going to clarify some, two things here, or let's say two different terms. So something that you were discussing right now and that probably can be a little bit confusing is the words client and customer and the words attend and assist. These four words, I mean, separated, right? They, they can be confusing. For example, customer and client, uh, the difference, the main difference is that when we use clients, we focus on, or we're talking about specialized services that people hire, specialized service that people hire. So for example, if I am a lawyer and somebody tell me, hey, Freddie, uh, I'm going to prison, I'm going to jail, can you please help me out? I'm going to give you the money, right? And you are going to be my lawyer. So he is my client. Can I say that uh, it's for services? Mm, yes. Not product by services. And, and no, it's more technical. It's, it's more specialized. It's more specialized. When it's something specialized, for example, uh, like a lawyer, like an accountant, uh, like, uh, let's suppose, someone who is an expert in an area, right? And, and he gets hired automatically these people are their clients. Uh, customers is usually for uh, more general things like restaurants, hotels, okay? Uh, at the bank, at the bank, right? Uh, the customer's experience, they say, at the call centers, they say customers. So uh, it's not exactly client, clients only for services because customer service in a call center, in, a, in for example, Claro, Tigo, et cetera, et cetera. We are customers, but it's, it's, it's not like a restaurant, but still we are customers. But clients is more specific, it's more specialized, like uh, technicians, like uh, lawyers, uh, architects, uh, engineers, right? So these people that are hired by someone, uh, they these people who pay for, for their service or their specialized service, they become their clients. So uh, that's a little different, right? Between customer and clients, but the majority of the services are customers. Um, and then attend and assist. People can get confused with this, right? Attend is like, hey, attend there, right? No me atendieron bien, they didn't attend me well. No, attend is to uh, be present or to go to a place. So for example, uh, I am going to attend a meeting at Plaza Futura next week. So how many attendees did we have in the meeting? Uh, we had 50 attendees. 
So attend is to go, to be part of something or to go to a place, right? Uh, I'm going to attend a party. I'm going to attend a, a mass at the church, right? In a restaurant, if you want to say, I didn't get a good attention, right? Attention, it, not attend. So what is the verb that we have to use, teacher? The verb that we have to use for that is assist. Okay. Assist. When you help someone, you are assisting that person. So assist is not asistir de ir. And attend is not atender de atención. So that is the confusion, right? Because in Spanish, we use the words in the opposite way, right? If we say atender, it's uh, give assistance. If we say asistir, is to go. But in English, it's the opposite. Assist is to help and attend is to go to a place that we are having invited. So that is uh, the false friends. This is called false friends in English. Uh, los falsos amigos, right? So words that you see them in English and you think that, ah, oh, fabric. Yes, it's fabrica. No, fabric is tela. Ah, okay. So words that are similar to the language that we speak, but the meaning is different. Another word that is also very commonly confused, for example, is embarrassed. When people see embarrassed for the first time, they think like, ah, embarazada, right? No, embarrassed is when you are uh, ashamed, when you feel shy about something or something that happened to you. Uh, but then, okay, so embarrassed is not embarazada. So how do you say embarazada? Pregnant. Okay, so you have to be careful, right, with these little words that can play a trick on you, right? They can uh, deceive you, right? So those are two clarifications that I wanted to make, okay? Client, customer, attend, assist, okay? Just for your information, okay? Um, so the waiters attend the customers or assist the customers? Assist the assist. customer. Assist the customers. If you go to a party, you assist to the party or you attend the party? Attend, attend the attend. party. Okay, good. If I am your an accountant and you want to do your taxes declaration, you are going to be my client or my customer? Client. Client. All right, okay, if I work for... Uh, Claro, and you call because you have a technical problem. I am going to, you are going to be the customer or the client? Customer. Customer, customer right? The customer, correct. So thumbs up for you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so that's something that I wanted to clarify. It's not in the book, but it's something that you need to know. Okay, so great job. Now we continue with the next activity. Any questions about what I shared with you, what I told you? Everything's clear? Yes, no? Do you follow me? Yes, it's clear. Yes, okay. Clear like yes. the tea that I was drinking. It's black tea. Like no. horchata. No, actually, it's chai tea. Now, exercise number two. What is the indication for exercise number two, Juan Jose? Um, is a customer experience? Is a customer experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Oh, uh, exercise number two. Okay, uh, number the step a waiter follow to take and serve an order. Okay, what are the steps? Uh, one say. The step um, it could be. Um, Just read the, the ones that are here in the in the chart. Okay. Take customers order. Um. Uh, 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 greet the customer could be one just, step. Just, just mention the, the steps that are here. Later, we are going to put them in the correct order. Don't worry about that. So, uh, Jackie, help me out with the next ones, please. Okay. Take customer's order, confirm the order, seat the customer, serve the food, greet the customer, handle, the excuse food. me? Uh -huh. And handle? Handle, handle the food correctly. 
put correctly. Okay, so um, what is this, the order? What is the order in your opinion? What is the first step that the, the waiter follows? Greet the customer. To be number one. Let me yeah. see, I'm going to use the annotation here. So you think that this is number one. Uh, what is number two? Great the customer. Oh, wait, 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 the wait. customer. I, I made a mistake. So it's not take the customer. You said read the customer, right? That's number one. Okay, number two. The take, take the customer order. See the customer. See the customer. Read carefully, read carefully. Okay. Take the customer. Yeah, I imagine if, you, if, if the if customer is waiting in the line. Okay, so what do you like to order? Um, <laughs> I want to sit down first, right? Okay, give me a table, right? So, um, see the customer. That would be number two. And uh, number three? Take customer's order. Customer order. Customer order. Pay the customer's order. Okay, number three. That's number. Four. And what about number four? Confirm the order. Confirm the order. Confirm the order. Correct. Uh, after that, serve the food. Serve the food. food. Handle the food handle correctly. The food. Correct. First, you have to handle the food correctly to get to the table, right? Okay. And finally. You serve the food. Serve right? the food. Serve the food. Correct. So this is number six. Excellent. So that is the correct order. Okay. So for pronunciation uh, purposes, right? Number one. Greet the customer. Greet mm -hmm. the customer. Number two. Greet. The customer. The customer. The customer. The customer. The customer. Number three. Take customer Take order. Customer, sorry. Take customer's order. order. Number four. Confirm. Confirm the order. order. Um, confirm. Okay. Confirm. 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 The order. That's a short A. Una, una A corta, right? Confirm. Confirm. The order. confirm. Confirm the order. Okay. Number five. Handle the food correctly. correctly. And number six. Serve, serve the, the food. Serve the food. Serve. Okay, serve the food. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to give you a ta-da for that. So we're going to move on to the exercise number three. But before that, I'm going to take the attendance, right? To check who's still here and who's gone. Um uh, never know. Let me check. So the first person that I see here is Anna Beatriz. Excuse me, teacher, can you repeat it, please? Ana Beatriz, are you there? In here, yes. Okay, very good. Uh, Ana Elizabeth? I'm here. Ana Mariela? I'm here. Brenda or Linda? I'm here. Carla Yanet? I'm here. Diana Yesenia? Now what happened to Diana today? Uh, Flor Hidalma? I'm here, teacher. Francisco Amadeo? Present. Excellent. Glenda Laura? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Excellent, Glenda, thank you. Harvin Isaac? Present, teacher. Jennifer Gisela? I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose? I'm here. It reminds me of Jota Jota Gomez. Remember him? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Karen Guadalupe. Present. Maritza Alcira. Maritza, are you there? Okay. Merlin Lisbeth. Yes, I'm here. Okay, Miguel Angel is not here right now, so we continue with. Okay. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Maritza. We continue with Ruth and Rolando. I'm here. Okay, Ruth. I'm here. Suleima. I'm 
here. Jessica. I'm here. Okay. I think I'm going to stay here so you see the intermediate level there. Uh, Jacqueline. I'm here, teacher. Blanca. Blanca, Blanca. I'm here, I'm here, sorry. <laughs> ah, okay, one point less, I'm just kidding. And Julio, we need to find out what happened to Julio. Puerto Marisco, right? That's the name of the place, I remember the name. <laughs> okay, so uh, I don't know, but I usually connect or relate students with something in particular. Uh, so that, I think that that's the way that I learn the names. Okay, uh, we're going to move on and Wait a second, here we go. So we, we eliminate the annotation. So that is the correct order of the steps that the waiter follows, right? To take and serve another. Um, let me close this out, clear all the drawings and move on. Okay, what's next? We're going to build vocabulary. So right now is the dictionary time. Okay, in this moment, you will be able to use your dictionary to find the meaning, a definition, right? For the five words that appear here. Okay, just for pronunciation, we have handle, who, handle, 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 handle. Okay, number one, handle. Number two, confirm. Confirm, confirm. Confirm, confirm. okay, very good. Number three, payment. 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 Number four, greeting. Greeting. And the number five, notify. 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 Like Spotify, right? Okay, so uh, that's what you're going to do right now. You're going to have approximately five minutes, a little bit more in case that it takes time for you to write down the definitions, okay? So I'm going to give you six to seven minutes maximum for you to look for the definition, write it down in your notebook, and then I am going to ask you to share some of the definitions that you found, okay? As recommendations of dictionaries uh, for definitions in English, right? No Spanish. I am going to write down three websites in, in the chat so you can use those ones if you want. But if you have another dictionary, that's up to you. You can use that one too. Okay, uh, worldreference.com, that's one that I would suggest. Uh, 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 Google. Google for definitions, not too much. I wouldn't recommend it that much. I mean, people use it for translation, right? But for definitions, I'm not so sure how good it is. So I'm going to recommend you that, that one, that is word reference, and also uh, Cambridge Dictionary. Oh, you will find it online. Okay, Cambridge Dictionary or Dictionary. Uh, this is not propaganda, okay? They are not giving me money for this. Uh, and the other one that I would suggest is Miriam Webster. That's another one. I think that was the first dictionary. Okay, uh, so you can go to those dictionaries if you want. And your time begins now. Teacher. Google use Oxford Dictionary. Okay, perfect. So you can use that as a reference. Okay. okay so your time begins now. Go ahead. If you have a doubt, let me know. I will be here. So dictionary time. Okay, for you to discuss the, your findings, right? What you have found on the internet, I am going to create, the, well, I'm going to send you back to the same breakout rooms. So maybe you can share, right? After you have, you have the definition, you can share. Maybe somebody has one and you don't have it, so, or you have a different one and it's like, oh, I think this is not correct according to the context. So your definition sounds better than mine. Okay, so you can do that right now. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms one more time. Accept the invitation. 
for that. In three, two, one, go. You have five more minutes, maximum. Suleiman, Elizabeth, and Black Stephanie, you can accept the invitation to go to the breakout rooms and share the definitions that you have found. I believe in. Excuse me. Uh, resolver. Which which one the other one? Uh, the second confirm confirmar. Confirm. Mm -hmm. Payment. Payment. Okay. And the another one. The wearing. Salud. Reading. Reading. Remember that it's not just a translation, also a definition. What is the okay. meaning of reading? In English, right? In English. Definition in English. Saludar. Uh, in English. Uh, reading. Uh -huh, the definition. El significado, la definición. Eso es lo que van a escribir. Okay. No, no solamente la traducción. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay, okay. Sorry for the confusion. Nah, it's okay, don't worry. Glenda is with us too. Yeah. Okay, how are you how are you doing with the definitions? Are you almost finished? I think I finish. I think. Okay, so you can discuss and share a little bit with Ana Mariela and Jennifer. If you're here, you approve. You approve something that is confirmed. Yes, yes. When you approve something, okay. Ah. Yes. Hmm? Uh, approve something. Something. Okay. Is, and the payment is from um, payment is when some pay at the in the country, yeah. for example. Hmm? Uh, payment about credit card or, or cash. Yes, yes, could be. Then I have something that you say or do. To grade somebody. Grade somebody, okay. I have notify. <laughs> to tell someone officially about something. And not I'm I'm looking for notify still. <laughs> I have all of them. I I have just inform if something <laughs> something and Maybe typically in a formal or official official manner. I have almost the same. Or correct. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the same that that I that, that me that are my definition. It's yes. the same. In another words, but it's the same. <laughs> I'm sorry. What what did you say for confirm? Jarvis. Jarvin. Confirm is show something is definitely true or correct. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. It's like to establish the true or correctness. Yes. To okay. believe. Yeah. Notify to tell someone officially about something. 
greeting, something friendly or polite that you say or do uh, when you meet or welcome someone. This is the life. Payment is the action to pay. Payment, yeah. Yes. When you pay someone or something. Okay. This 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 meaning is from Cambridge Dictionary. Yeah. Yeah. I I was looking in Oxford Dictionary and notify says to formally or officially tell somebody about something. Yeah. It's similar to 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 Oxford to Cambridge. Yes. They are similar. Well, I don't know. I think that we found all the words. You got them. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So probably we're going to go back to the breaker. I mean, to the plenary right now, and then we're going to share the words that we have. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Very nice. Very nice. Great job. You thank work you. really well as a group. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. We finished. Okay, yeah, I, I noticed that the majority of you were basically done, right? Maybe one person in the group what, was missing one or two words or two definitions, right? But uh, you will help. You were helping each other, and that, I like that. That is a perfect, right? That whenever we had the opportunity to share, let's do it, right? So uh, that's one of the best ways that I, I consider you can learn by interacting and practicing with someone else. In my case, that's, that helped me a lot when I was a student. I had a classmate who was always practicing with me and asked me questions about vocabulary. I was asking questions to him. So we were like challenging each other, right? In a good way. So uh, we're going to check quickly. Uh, do we have a volunteer to share the definition for the word number one that was handled, handled? What definition do you have for that one? Can I try? Okay, we have Ruth who raised a hand first, and then we're going to compare her definition with Blanca's definition, okay? To see if there's a difference. Ready to go with the second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ruth, go ahead. Uh, I have a handle, and I have feel or manipulate with the hands, or manage uh, a situation or problem. Ah, okay, that's a good definition. Uh, what do you have, Blanca? To deal with or be in charge of something. Or be in charge of something. Hey, can you handle this? Yeah, I can do it. Thank you. Okay. I love both definitions, okay? The most complete one is the one that uh, Ruth mentioned, right? Because it's, it's two different contexts, right? In two different contexts. To manipulate with the hands and also to deal with the situation, as Blanca was saying. So... Class for that, please. Very good. You got really good definitions, girls. Now we continue with number two. Freddie, uh, the word was confirm. confirm. What do you have for that one? And what Ana Beatriz found, is going to be a second one, okay? What I found is establish the truth or correctness of something. Okay, to establish the truth or correctness of something. Confirm. Okay, thank you, Ana Beatriz. Uh, show that something is definitely true or correct. Okay, so the two definitions are different, but at the same time, they complement each other. So, uh, as you can see, I'm going to make a parenthesis. What is the benefit of using an English English dictionary teacher? Well, first of all, you are not making translations. You are doing everything directly in the language that you are learning. And my favorite part of using English English dictionaries uh, is that when you're reading the definition, you discover new words. So you start investigating like correctness. What is correctness, right? And then you start like manipulate. I didn't know manipulate. So you start investigating manipulate. So you can go from one word, from one word, you find a definition from definition, you find a new word, and then you go like that, right? Like like a never ending uh, discovering of words. So that's a good thing. 
And my number three reason why English to English dictionary is, uh, is one of the best options, especially when you are in intermediate advanced level, right? Is that you learn how to explain things. So imagine that you're talking to someone who doesn't speak Spanish and they tell you, okay, uh, what are you eating? Uh, I'm eating a Nuegado. What's that? And you are like, Nuegado, de yuca. Sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Uh, okay, in that moment, you realize that your translation is not working. So you have to explain that, right? So, um, or let's suppose that it's a specific word in the language, right? Uh, let's say in Spanish, right? And you said, uh, lo que me gusta, so something that I like about sales needs is the, and you don't remember uh, how to say, let's suppose, uh, cultura, right? You don't know that word in English. It's like, uh, so it's something that describes the person, not the personality, but the traditional aspects of a country and the people. Ah, culture. Yes, that's the word. So when you're using definitions, when you uh, learn how to explain the words, you have that extra benefit that you can communicate with someone even if they don't speak Spanish. And if you want to add an extra reason why or an extra benefit of using English to English dictionary is that when you forget the words, you can explain them. So you know the word in English, but you don't remember it. So explain it. So it's not that you're going to stop speaking because you don't remember one word. Something that I like about the El Salvador is their I don't remember how to say um, calidez de su gente, right? Uh, okay. Um, the good heart that people have, right? How welcoming and warm their personality is. Ah, okay. I understand what you're trying to say. So you didn't stop your speech because you explained what you were trying to say. That word that you forgot, but you knew what you were trying to say. That happens in, in, in English and Spanish, right? Um, now, we're going to move on with the explanation of the words number three, okay? Um, for that, you can download the dictionary that I shared in the group, right? I also shared the link in the, in the chat. I'm going to send it again so you can download it. The benefit of that dictionary is that you can download it. Obviously, you need internet to download it, but you can use it without internet. So at any moment, you can check the definitions, the translation, the examples. You can listen to the definition and to the examples uh, of the words. And it's a very complete dictionary. Now, payment. Do we have two volunteers to give the definitions of payment? Or one volunteer? What is payment? Blanca, Stephanie, and Francisco. Okay. The act of paying. <laughs> okay. The act that's of paying. Okay, that's like in Spanish, right? Like, teacher, what is a, I don't know, you ask for a verb, right? Uh, difuminar. Es el acto de difuminar. That's like a very deep definition, teacher. Thank you. I understand now what is difuminar. Okay, so, um, so Francisco, do you have another definition? That's what I'm telling you, right? You need to have different dictionaries because in some dictionaries, the definition is very limited. That reminds me of the Oceanos dictionaries. Now that I remember. Okay, so uh, Francisco, what do you have? The, the same teacher. Uh, I checked the Cambridge dictionary and, and the same, Cambridge okay. same definition. Yeah, have it happens. Pay. It happens, the act of pay. The act of pay. Okay. I think that it's a common verse of pay people understand, right? The act of pay. Ana Mariela, you have a different definition? Yes. Um, a sum of money paid in change for goods or service. For services. Wow. Okay. That's a that's a very specific definition. A sum, a sum of money that you pay for a good or service. Okay. 
Excellent. Thank you so much to the three volunteers. So we have, you see the importance of the dictionaries, right? Now we continue with the number four. That's reading. Ah, that's very easy. Uh, volunteers for number four. When, when you are a salutation, okay. when you, yes, when you say uh, good evening, for example, this um, is a greeting. I think that it's a greeting. Or when you are a um, salutation in general. Yeah, when you say goodbye or hello, right? That's a greeting. Okay, yes. uh, excellent. That's a simple, a practical definition. Sometimes you don't have to complicate too much and just explain it with simple words or an example that can work. Okay, uh, I, most students do that, right? Like, I don't know how to give a definition, so I give an example. Um, or you don't know how to explain something, so you, you give an example. Uh, what is greeting? Uh, when you say hello and when you say goodbye? Ah, okay, got it. Notify, definitions, Harvin, do you have that one? Uh, so I'm going to ask Harvin and Jack, yes. maybe they can help you. Okay. Notify. Yep. Notify. I, I found to formally, officially tell somebody about something. Okay, very good. Uh, what do you have, Jackie? Francisco says something friendly or polite that you say or do when you see someone. Okay. And uh, um, notify to inform someone or give notice to. Or give notice to. Okay. Yeah. To inform something. Uh, that would be a synonym, right? So that's another thing, right? When you learn synonyms, that can help you. If you don't know how to say something, you don't remember the word, you can use a synonym and you expand your vocabulary. Now, uh, we're going to move on and quickly I'm going to share the screen with you. We're going to continue working together in groups. But what's next? Uh, okay, so the indication is very simple. Which of the following are the most common issues? What is an issue? Issue. Mm -hmm. A problem. A problem. A problem, right? A problem. An issue uh, can be an inconvenience, right? I have an issue right now, so yeah. Okay, so usually an issue is a problem, right? Uh, so which of the following are the most common issues with service, with service that you have experienced in a restaurant? Do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? Why? Okay, so you can select the ones that you have experienced from the list. Okay, um, I'm going to ask a check. Jessica, can you please read the examples? Or the issues? What did you give me? The issues. The waiter gets, gets you food. The way to get your food, you did, you did not ask for. Okay, excellent. I'm going to continue with floor. Are you home yet? <laughs> sure, if floor is available. So I'm going to ask, uh, let me check. Karen, number two. The food takes too long to be served after ordering it. After ordering it. Okay, Suleyma, can you help us with number three? Suleyma or Merlin, the waiter is not light. Okay, Francisco, number four. The dish you want to order is not available, but is hopper listed but, but in the it appears, menu. It's a it, appe it appears listed in it appears the menu. Listed in the menu. In the menu. Okay, so it's not available, right? Uh, Carla uh, or Maritza, number five. Yes. 
Uh, the dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. Okay, so it's not the same that you order. Okay, uh, so that's what you're going to do right now. Discuss in your group, right? What are these, the issues that you have experienced? And answer the second question. Do you think that establishing a procedure will help to reduce those issues? Yes. Which ones? So I want you to discuss a lot. I want you to practice speaking, right? So answer these questions, why, and what can be done or what would you do to improve these issues or these inconveniences? Okay, so this is more focused on speaking, right? So that is uh, something that I have to clarify. Uh, Okay, excellent. Uh, Freddie, you can share that information in the in the chat with everybody or in the group. Uh, so we're going to go to the breakout rooms uh, to interact with somebody else. I'm going to create new rooms. Okay, so you can... Uh, a second. I'm going to create the seven breakout rooms. Here we go. So uh, hopefully you are with someone different. Yeah, I think it's new groups. Okay, right now you have exactly 10 minutes. Well, 15 minutes, sorry, to discuss. 15 minutes to discuss the questions. Okay, I set the invitation to go to the breakout rooms. 15 minutes. Okay, Jennifer, Freddie, Glenda, and Elizabeth, Marlene. Set the invitation to go to the breakout rooms, please. wait for, for the food i don't like <laughs> so for me the the first and the common the food takes too long um personally i don't like when the water is not polite how mm. for you is is the same the no the waiter is not polite. Polite. Ah, yeah. When the waiter is not polite. Yes, I don't Then I think that maybe it's When the waiter gets you food, you did not ask for. Mm, well, when I eat in the restaurant in the place, it's not common. But when I when it's a delivery, it happened many times that the food I ordered it's not the it's not lo que pedí. Not that. Um, the other I don't like is when the dish is not available and it appears in the in it appears this in the menu. Yes, because when when you ask of of, of that and they they say say that uh, we didn't have this, <laughs> so so I I have to change or uh, see for other other food and that maybe I, I don't like it. Yes. So. 
Uh, and the second is do you think is, is establishing a procedure could have reduced those issues and the like? Uh, bad experience. Bad experience for me. Okay, for example, another thing that happened to me is the dish you were to order is not available. Always when I go to the restaurant, I don't know the waiter tell me the, the specialty for today is, for example, a, a hamburger of, of chicken. And I say, I want it. And the waiter said, oh, it's over. I'm sorry. I don't know why, <laughs> but always happens to me. Happens to you. Yes. Uh, it happens, it happens to me. Uh, yes. I don't know why, but always happened to me. It's, maybe it's so it's, funny. Maybe it's because you, you arrive late to the restaurant. <laughs> no, but I don't know why the waiters tell me uh, the specialties of today is oh, a hamburger or a soup. And I say, oh, it's some good. I want. And, they, okay. and, they, and then they told me, hey, it's over. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. And they tell you like 10 minutes or 15 minutes later, right? And you're hungry. Yes, yes. Just waiting for your hamburger. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's it's no terrible. And, and funny. Do you think establishing a, pro a procedure could be reduced those issues? So the answer is yes. yes. If they have a, a procedure, uh, those all things, though these things can be fixed. So now is the is the time to talk about the, the possible solutions. Como podrían resolver ese problema? Esos problemas, okay? Maybe with, uh -huh. with a training, training the people. Mm -hmm. uh, being a specific step one, step two, step three <laughs> with the employees and be nice with the employees for the waiter uh, can be polite. Maybe they are not polite because because they are not happy in their work, can be. <laughs> yeah, that's a possibility. Um, make an follow up to the menu. Okay, perfect. I'm going to come back in a moment. Okay. Okay, very good. So you can write down your ideas. Okay, es bien su idea de cómo se podría mejorar estos problemas que para que no pasen en los restaurantes. Okay, and then you share that in the, in the, in the, in the class, in the group. So okay. you have approximately seven minutes. More. Okay. Okay. Excellent, thank you. Okay, uh, first idea, training the employees. It's in the uh -huh. table. And that's Here's where the action from, happens. Uh, <laughs> that happened to me when I was in the Pizza Hut that in Saturday, I, I ordered a lasagna, tres quesos, mm -hmm. three cheese, three mm -hmm. cheese lasagna. And mm -hmm. I ordered the soda and I ordered the garlic bread. And nice, it's, it's nice. The treat was nice. And when I had to pay the order, they, they told me that it was like, Another price. Well, 12 bucks, something like that. <laughs> and that's too much for me because in the in the menu, say that it's eight dollars, something like that, or seven, I, I don't remember. But when I have to pay, 
for fourteen dollars take me that that time and, uh, and i say like, why why is too much and they say that propina the, the, the propina they told me that the soda and the bread garlic the garlic bread garlic bread it's in the in the it's i don't know how to say it's included uh, with the with the lasagna when you ordered only in the week uh, not in the weekend and uh, that <laughs> that was a saturday uh, i remember okay. and i and, and i have to pay because obviously i i eat it all but <laughs> inside i was crying and and well, i just yeah. wait 14 dollars <laughs> only in me <laughs> only in one meal only in one meal and and I feel sad. But I, hope, I, hope, I hope it was delicious at least. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right it's now you have, you have approximately seven minutes to start writing down the possible solutions that you would suggest, yeah. right? For avoiding these problems, for eliminating these issues at restaurants. Yeah, we're talking, we're talking about that in the restaurant, they have to put two different menus, one for the week and one for, one for the weekend when that's kind of probably happening. That can be one, and then you choose someone who is going to share, right, in the class, those ideas. I yeah, got yeah. a feeling that Rolando will be Rolando the will one. Be. Yeah. No, he will be who will say. Yeah, it's two versus one, so I'm sorry, Rolando. It's, I, yeah. I didn't make the groups. It was random, okay? I have to tell you the truth, Rolando. It was not on purpose. <laughs> No, by himself, he say, it, I, will, it, I will tell. <laughs> it's destiny to be. Uh, in my case, I, I have uh, my, my boss uh, near me. <laughs> it's very, uh. very. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, Freddy. I have a question um, what is the about question? the homework. About the homework, the, the last question, I don't remember, Brenda asked you about the number 211, 211 in the homework, 211. Uh, there are three, three questions that uh, is not correct. All the not correct, you put some is uh, some way, but it's not correct. You put another way, it's not correct in the 211. I don't know if you, um, if you have the, 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 to respond about? No, I don't uh, remember. no actually, I, I don't know. They haven't told me anything, but I'm going to ask one more time tomorrow. Okay, that is the exercise you said, that is 2.11. 2. 2. 2.11, okay. I'm going to write it down so I don't. I'm sure about the number. 211 uh, is, um, I don't remember. Okay, I'm going to, um, yes, 211. Uh, for example, would you prefer to have, uh, et cetera, et cetera, is correct, will it be, but when you say, it, if you will be, if you would, we change. The, in this case, is the dress code? It be good, but it's not correct. You change? Always is not correct. I don't know which is the, the answer correct. Okay, got it. So number three, uh, four, and five. So right now, uh, I just sent a message to the chat that you have just about five minutes more to write down the possible solutions to solve the issues from the exercise, okay, that you're discussing. Okay, so just who is going to share with us in the in the plenary? All right. Yes. Okay, got it. See you in a moment. Yeah, see you in four minutes. Se nos olvidó. Y Ajá, what did you forget? Es que no puedo decirles que se nos olvidó 
que habíamos ya pasado una hora por estar platicando y el menú no nos, no nos lo entregaban. She, uh, she, she wait a lot, a, a long, long time for, you waited for, for the hour. order. Yeah. Yes. Wow. One hour waiting the dishes. The main, ah. the main, the main courses. Yes. Wow. That's a lot of patience. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if I can yes, uh, wait for that long. Especially if I'm hungry. I'm really, but really Glenda, hungry. But Glenda, they, they gave it to you free, free bill? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> They, for they, they gave it to you a discount, for example? And only they just or justify with use because uh, the restaurant uh, estaba muy lleno. It full. was full. Yeah. Was full. Uh -huh. okay. Only this. Only this. Some restaurants but, gave you gave you dessert, for example, for apologize when you wait yeah. a long time. Yeah, to apologize for that. Okay, so right now uh, you need to choose who is going to share the possible solution, right, for the issues of the exercise. Uh, you have just two more minutes. Okay, so you can agree who's going to speak. Okay. And I will see you in a moment. Any of you? Hi, teacher. Oh, you got two more oh. minutes. Yes, we okay. have a, a question. Okay, we were talking about the, the ah, What is the question? Uh, we, we don't know how to say, for example, we, we are talking about them. Um, uh, let, let, let me check, just give me a minute. I'm going to, uh, for example, the issue. Uh, the waiter is, is not polite. Uh, for example, when the waiter Se deja llevar. Uh, I don't know how we, we don't know how to say, for example, uh, the waitress doesn't have an emotional balance or like a Freddie says well, it's their instinct. Uh, okay. They don't control their behavior, let's say. Like, behavior. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't have self-control. Okay. So self -control. Oh, okay. They that don't be, have that would be so... issue. Or they don't have manners. They don't have manners because when you have manners, you behave. Yeah, that would be the correct answer. Manners. They don't have manners. They don't have manners. So they are rude or they are impolite, right? So those are yeah. that's yeah. So that's what you can say. And what can you do in that case? How can you solve the problem? Would you do you have to fire the the, the waiter or give training or give some I don't know special attention to that to that waiter to see. What, What's going on? Okay, so I'm going to close the breakout room so that we can go back and share the information. Uh, so choose the volunteer, right, from your group. And I'll see you in a moment. Okay. okay. Okay, so we're back. Uh, how was the party? Did you celebrate a lot with your with your group? Yeah. Okay, I, I noticed that some people were were having a good, really good time discussing and expressing experiences, right? Uh, and well, I'm going to do a little exercise quickly. I'm going to mention the the scenarios or the experiences. So you raise your hand, okay? If that is something that you experience personally okay so we're going to raise your hand and then you put it down right you lower your hand um so raise your hand if you what if the waiter gets you the food you didn't ask for if the waiter gives you something that you didn't order you order a hamburger and they gave you a pizza raise your hand if you had that experience okay we have karen francisco only the two of them Okay, uh, it happens to me with drinks. Like I order a lemonade and they and they bring me a soda. I'm like, no, I don't drink soda, thank you. 
uh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. sodas are good. Well, for some people, they might be, right? But for some others, not too much. Okay, raise your hand if you experience this. The food takes too long to be served after ordering it. I think everybody, I'm going to raise my hand too. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I listened in one of the breakout rooms uh, that somebody had to wait for one hour for the food. One hour. Did anybody experience waiting for more than one hour? Waiting for the food for more than one hour? No? Okay. So, yeah, Karen. Okay. 45 uh, minutes. 45 minutes? Okay. It's a little bit more acceptable. I guess that it depends, right, of this scenario, because if you go on Mother's Day or a, a special holiday, you know that you're going to wait. Okay. Uh, especially if you arrive late. And then the waiter is not polite. Raise your hand if you had experience with a waiter that was not polite. I guess that the majority of us experience that too. Yeah, I raised my hand. Um, right there, okay. And I have seven participants. Okay, raising the hand, good. Lower your hand. We go with the next one. This is just to make a little survey, right? To have an idea. Um, the dish you want to order is not available. It appears listed in the menu. I remember harping with this. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. You're happy because you see your favorite dish there. And sorry, we don't have it. Okay. So nine people said that. So a lot of people experienced that. And the last one. The dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. So you were waiting for a hamburger like this, and then they gave you a hamburger like this. <laughs> okay. So it was just for um, reference only. That's what they said in the, in the menu, right? Only for reference purposes only. Okay. Uh, they say illustrative, uh, illustrative purposes only. Okay, so uh, around seven people said that. Now we're going to move on and uh, I'm going to ask for one volunteer from each group to share with us uh, what you discussed. What can be some, one solution, okay? One solution or two uh, to solve these issues. The first breaker room was composed by Juan Jose and Jessica. Uh, about what, excuse me? What can be a solution for these problems? Okay, I think that um, in the in the restaurant, the property should, uh, must be um, more ethic, more ethic. Ethical. When you offer something, yes, ethical, you, you, you must to, to uh, are of um, giving, a product you must uh, give a product okay so uh, give another product so you have to be ethical and honest with the customer okay thank you so much Juan Jose we're going yes. to listen to the group number two with another solution group number two was composed by uh Blanca Brenda yeah Rolando okay Rolando you're the volunteer okay <laughs> I know that is you uh, Go ahead. What solution, please? Um, for the waiter, waiter is not polite. Mm. Yeah. What is the solution for that? Uh, a new one. Get a good training. Okay. Uh, get a good in training. In a, a feedback from the customer. Awesome. Awesome. I like that. I like that. Thank you so much. Uh, group number three. We had. Don't forget about the class, right? About the thumbs up. About the hearts. The Tadas, room number three, Carla, Francisco, and Freddy's. Who's a volunteer from that group? One solution because of the time, right? Because of the time, just one solution. Um, solution four. 
for the restaurant. One of the issues that appears there. The issues. Uh -huh. Well, we said um, take the food. The food takes too long to be served after ordering it. So we said they have to hire people with more experience. Hire people with more experience. Okay. In some cases, the, the solution is to hire more people because they just have one waiter and one chef and one, so, and like 20 tables, right? So sometimes yeah. it's about the number of employees, right? So thank you so much, Freddy's. Uh, we go with the group number four. That was composed by Ana Mariela, Jennifer, and Ruth. One solution for one problem. We choose about bad behavior from the waiters or the waitress. Yeah, and we think that as a main solution could be give, give them a good feedback and ask them what is what happened to them because it's so important to know if there is something that is maybe bothering, bother, bothering uh, him or her. That's and solve this problems okay good so you need to listen to the waiter right there might be a reason okay yeah. we're, we're human maybe they can improve <laughs> the environment of the of the restaurant or Correct. something yeah anna floor and glenda you were the room number five uh, room number six we had karen maritza and merlin room number seven we had anna jacqueline and harvey so i'm going to take a screenshot so in case i I don't forget, well, I, I don't remember um, who were in, in each group. So I'm going to take a screenshot because the time is up, believe it or not. Uh, time is over. And I think that it was a very conversational class. So you had a lot of ideas, a lot of opinions to give. Uh, you can check the chat. Freddie shared one dictionary that he recommends to download in the Microsoft Store uh that is new right you can download it for free so thank you so much uh do you have any questions or comments before i take the attendance you can ask i am going to be taking the attendance anyways uh julio is not here freddie ready sorry there blanca yes yes here. i'm here okay. i'm here jacqueline I'm here. Jessica. I'm here. Awesome. Uh, Ruth. I'm here. Hey, uh, by the way, Jessica, you are the volunteer for today. Remember that you have the extra 10 minutes. So I, you are going to stay, right? Okay. <laughs> Okay, don't forget to check the list, right? When when is your to, to see when it, when your turn is. Uh, next one in the list is Rolando. I'm here. Berlin. Maritza. I'm here, teacher. Nice, Karen. Present. And Jose. I'm here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Marvin. I'm here, teacher. Glenda. I'm Cisco. here, teacher. Thank you, Glenda. Cisco, floor. Present. Hey, Carla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, floor. Uh, Carla. Yes, I'm here. Brenda. I'm here. Ana Mariela. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth. I'm here. And Ana Beatrix. I'm here. The three Anas. Okay, excellent. So we'll start a new week with the right foot, with a lot of practice. Let me check if there is a question in the chat. Ah, uh, okay, Flora has a bad connection. So thank you so much uh, for sharing so much information with us and with your classmates in the breakout rooms. I hope that you learned something new today uh, and that you also uh, 
practice enough, right? So thank you for your attention and I will see you tomorrow, right? In the same place with the same classmates, the same teacher. And <laughs> yeah, so God willing, hello. God willing, right? In the, in the same channel, that's correct. Okay, <laughs> so see you all. I'm just going to say with Jessica today, uh, so if you have any other doubts, please don't forget to send me a message through WhatsApp uh, and I will answer it to you. Okay? Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Welcome. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Hello, Merlin. Uh, yes, I want to I want to uh, I want to tell you something. Okay. Uh, can I can I say in Spanish? Uh, sure, I guess <laughs> if there's no way to say it in English, that's okay. Okay. Eh, fíjese que el motivo, o sea, de que yo no participo en la clase es porque yo todavía estoy trabajando. Entonces yo salgo a las 11 de trabajar. Eh, de hecho, hablé con mi encargado, ¿verdad? De que cómo iba a ser con las clases, porque en realidad yo no estoy al pendiente de, de su clase, de, de los ejemplos, a participar. O sea, a mí me encantaría poder hacerlo, pero en realidad este, yo tengo a cargo grupos de personas porque trabajo en un call center. Entonces, ellos me preguntan cosas o como tienen problemas con el sistema o tienen claro. preguntas. Entonces, no puedo estar así como que acá y estar con ellos, ¿verdad? Entonces, de hecho, yo me iba a salir del, de, del módulo, pero me mencionaron de que no podía hacerlo uh, porque ya habían invertido, ¿verdad? Entonces, right. que, que estuviera conectada por lo menos. Y, Listening, o sea, uh, and completing the exercises uh -huh. on the platform, okay, participating in the breakout rooms whenever possible. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good way to do it. Okay, so you can get the the required attendance and the required uh, evaluations. Mm -hmm. So Entonces, whenever you have whenever you have a doubt or a problem, you send me a message, right? So that I can save your number and I can help you out with anything. You can watch the videos whenever it's not possible for you to connect and. Uh, and yeah, whenever you have the chance to, to contact me, I will be there to, to help you out. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you for letting okay. me know. Okay, teacher. Sí, de, okay. Eh, de hecho, verdad, a veces me dan días de semanas libre. Entonces, la, el módulo pasado también así estuve, pero sí estuve más al pendiente y hacía las tareas en la plataforma, veía los videos. Pero ahorita como que es un poquito más difícil porque salí a las 8, pero ahorita salgo a las 11, entonces estoy todavía en mi hora laboral. Ok. Sorry about that, but we're going to work it out. Ok, we're okay. going to work it out. Ok, thank you okay. so much. You're welcome. Have a good night. Ok, thank you. Bye bye. See you bye, tomorrow. see you. Eh, Jessica, are you there? <laughs> yes, teacher, I'm here. <laughs> ok, perfect. Tell me, please, how can I help you? Okay, uh, teacher, uh, yes, uh, about conjunction fanboys. I'm, I'm, I, I, I think so, I don't have some clear. And okay. some 100%, teacher. Can you explain me again about that? Sure, uh, let me open it up. Okay, so uh, at right here. I'm going to, well, first of all, you know, you need to remember that conjunctions are the words that we use to connect ideas, right? To connect sentences. Uh, we have coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. In this case, we are talking about, uh, wait, it's not this one. It's this one. It's another, uh -huh. right. it's another one. Uh -huh. You see this right now, the fanboys? Yes, teacher. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, uh, we have, I mean, they say fanboys just to refer to every letter, right? But obviously mm -hmm. uh, every letter stands for one specific uh, conjunction. 
So um, we have for and nor, but, or, yet, and so. So what you need to do in this case is obviously to study, right? To study them. And uh, if it is difficult for you to understand just by reading the examples or the definitions, you need to practice it, right? You need to practice all of them. So for this, uh, what I do when I have to practice one topic is that I go to, I, I go to the, how can I tell you, to the internet, right? And I type like, okay, uh, fanboys or coordinating conjunctions practice. And then you will find, you, I mean, you get a lot of different websites uh, where you can put into practice each uh, conjunction. Uh, I don't know if you have doubts about one specific uh, conjunction or about all of them. It's no, no, uh, in a more specific, no. No, it's in general, yes. all of them. Yes, no, no, it's about no. No, okay, no, excellent. So, uh, no, I was explaining in the class that we normally use it with, uh, Neither, neither. So, for example, uh, if I tell you, okay, what kind of movies do you like? Do you like horror movies or do you like romantic movies? And you are like, I don't like romantic movies. And I don't like um, uh, romantic movies. So, in that case, you say, well, I don't like neither romantic nor uh -huh. nor uh, scary movies. So uh, yes. we say uh, two negatives. Two negatives, exactly. Okay. Like, okay. okay, so what do you want to eat? Pizza or hamburger? Mm, neither pizza nor hamburger. Okay. I want I want to eat uh, spaghetti, right? So um, in this, so it's two negative alternatives, right? Ah, so okay. neither, okay. neither, uh -huh. nor. Uh -huh. Neither one Neither nor, nor the other. Uh -huh. So, would you like to get married or to have children? And you are like, mm. neither <laughs> getting married, neither having, nor having children, right? So, neither uh -huh. nor. That is the contrast of the two negative alternatives, right? So, okay. and and the other, the other, and neither nor. What is the the other negative? The other negative. Ah, uh, uh, you no. said, you said. Ah, no, I mentioned the positive. The positive is or, or, no, either, no. either or, uh -huh. either or. Uh -huh. So those ah, are okay. positive. So we can say, uh, so what would you like to eat? Uh, pizza or hamburger? Uh, and you are like, whatever, I can eat either pizza or hamburger. I don't have problems ah, okay. with that. Either. When it's positive, we say either or. or. Uh -huh, either ah, okay. or. Either and when it's or. either or, and when it's either. negative, neither nor. It's two options that you don't like, or two options that you like. Like both ah, options okay, are okay, uh, okay. Yes, teacher. Or, 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 I have more clear about that. Okay, so uh, everything is clear yes. now. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. It, it is. It, uh, I will say it in Spanish. Son muchas eh, cosas que a veces uno tiene dudas, pero creo poco a poco las van aclarando uno. Por ejemplo, en este caso, eh, I had eh, that, eh, du esta duda, tenía esta duda. Okay, eh, you got so, that. But I, I, I have more clear. Now you, you are, yeah, everything is more, is clearer in this case. Everything is clearer. Uh -huh. Everything's yes. clearer. Okay, yes, yes, so I, I'm Thank glad you. to know that you're very welcome. So have a good night, Jessica. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, teacher. I will see you tomorrow, and I feel better that my my first week I don't feel more good because. Um, lo voy a decir en español porque me cuesta decirlo mucho. Eh, 
antes teníamos clases de, de 8 o 9, solo era una hora. Voy a poner el, 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 el video porque a veces se me corta la llama el, 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 por el internet. Eh, tenía una hora, pero ahora son dos. I, I feel tired because we have two hours uh, from on, on week on week. So in the when when I had a um, class uh, saying English corporativo, uh, uh, I had from Monday to Thursday. Thursday, yeah, thank you. So Thursday, uh, but by the uh, from from eight to nine. Uh -huh. But in this case, it's very very difficult. I, I feel the pressure. <laughs> yeah, but but you also feel that you practice more, right? That you are more exposed yes. to the language. You improve more, and you learn. Yes, more. yes. Uh, I I I feel that we we have to practice more because it's more the label is is, is more advanced. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay, but okay. I, I will try what, to. Well, you're, you're learning. You're learning. More. Yeah, I see that yes, you are yes. you are you are learning and improving. So keep on doing that. Okay. Little Thank by you, little. Teacher. Little by little. Okay. <laughs> Being perseverant is also good. Okay. Thank you, teacher, for You're welcome. teach me or, or teach you all. <laughs> That's my pleasure. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, good night. Bye bye.